this wire takes the energy from the air. Down below here, we turn it from AC into DC. The Large Hadron Collider is one of the wonders of the modern world. It's believed to be the largest and most complex machine mankind has ever created. Buried hundreds of feet beneath Switzerland and France. A teenage prodigy, Max Laughlin, has wild theories about parallel universes. And at CERN, the world's largest machine, the Large Hadron Collider, smashes particles together, unlocking secrets of the universe. Could Max and this massive machine hold answers to mysteries scientists have been chasing for years? The boy wonder. What if we told you a teenage boy could be onto something big that could shake the foundations of how we see the universe? Meet Max Laughlin, a young prodigy who shot to internet fame with ideas that sound straight out of a sci-fi thriller. Max isn't your average teenager. No, he's the kind of kid who, while others were figuring out their video game strategy, was figuring out a free energy machine by the time he was 13. How fascinating it is to imagine that. A device that could change the entire world's energy game. And he just built it for fun. But Max didn't stop there. He took his mind-blowing theories online, where he started talking about parallel universes. And no, he wasn't just daydreaming or watching too many movies. Max had an entire theory about how the universe might actually work and he linked it all to the work at CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research. According to Max, there's a chance that CERN's experiments could have nudged us into an alternate reality. Yep, an alternate reality, like a second timeline, where things are just a little different. Now you can imagine how people reacted. Some were hooked, completely sold on the idea. They saw him as a sort of young Einstein, someone who was peering into the mysteries of the cosmos while the rest of us were just trying to make sense of our day. His theories stirred up quite a following online. Videos of him explaining his ideas went viral, pulling in millions of curious minds who were suddenly wondering, is he onto something? Has something really shifted in our world? And could it all come down to a young kid with some seriously wild ideas? Of course, not everyone was convinced. Some scientists and skeptics quickly weighed in, calling his ideas imaginative but lacking solid proof. They argued that the fascinating theories weren't grounded in enough hard data. And yet, despite the pushback, Max's ideas struck a nerve. He was talking about things that most of us wouldn't even dare to imagine, and doing it in an odd way. And even the skeptics couldn't deny that something about him made you stop and think, what if? But here's the thing about Max. He's not some distant, untouchable genius locked away in a lab. He's relatable down to earth in a way that makes you feel like he's just one of us. Only he's got this big, bold vision of the universe. He's that friend who always asks deep questions, the one who wonders if there's more to reality than what we can see. And maybe, just maybe, he's seeing something that's hidden in plain sight. Max's ideas quickly became part of a larger conversation. People were excited, but there was also a hint of fear. What if he's right? What if CERN's experiments really could send us to another reality? The discussions took on their own life, drawing in both believers and skeptics. To some, Max's theories were a wake-up call, a reminder that science still has mysteries that might defy logic. To others, it was all a bit too much. But either way, Max was suddenly at the center of an intense debate, a young mind challenging the limits of what we thought we knew. So with all the buzz around Max, one question is still here. Could a young genius actually hold the key to uncovering secrets that have puzzled scientists for generations? And if so, how does his vision match up against the biggest, most powerful machine on Earth, the Large Hadron Collider? You'll be amazed as we now have deep insights into the world of CERN and the mind-boggling capabilities of the machine that started it all. The Giant Machine. Now let's talk about the monster in the room, literally. The Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, is Earth's largest and most powerful machine. It is a massive 17-mile-long tunnel buried underground near the French-Swiss border, where scientists are essentially throwing particles at each other to see what happens. Sounds like a sci-fi movie, right? But this isn't fiction. The LHC is real, and it's making discoveries that could change everything we know about the universe. So what exactly is the LHC? Think of it as a gigantic ring looping deep under the Earth. This ring is designed to accelerate particles, tiny bits of matter that make up everything around us. 
to speeds close to the speed of light. Then these particles smash into each other like a microscopic game of bumper cars, only a whole lot faster and with way more energy. Scientists do this to recreate conditions similar to the Big Bang, hoping to reveal what the universe was like at the very beginning. Located near Geneva, Switzerland, the LHC is run by CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research. They kicked off this colossal project in 2008. Since then, it's been a powerhouse of groundbreaking discoveries. For example, in 2012, scientists finally found the Higgs boson. Yes, the famous God particle. This discovery confirmed a theory about how particles get their mass, something physicists had been trying to figure out for decades. In the world of science, that was a bit like discovering that unicorns are real. But how does this machine actually make particles collide? Picture two beams of protons, each made up of countless particles, racing in opposite directions around that giant underground ring. These beams are guided by powerful magnets that keep the particles on track. When they finally meet, the protons crash into each other with such force that they create an explosion of new particles. It's like a fireworks show at a subatomic level. Blink and you'd miss it. These collisions create particles we wouldn't see otherwise, which existed only in the split second after the Big Bang. Scientists have detectors around the collision points, ready to capture every detail. Each collision holds clues, tiny hints, about the origins of our universe and the forces that shape it. The data collected from these explosions is then analyzed for months, sometimes even years, to understand what exactly happened. Now the LHC has a reputation. Some folks think it's just a big science experiment, but it's almost mythical to others. There are even wild rumors that the LHC could open portals to other dimensions or create miniature black holes. And of course, there's Max Laughlin's theory, which we just talked about. Could this machine really be capable of such feats? While scientists dismiss most of these claims, it's hard not to wonder, especially when the mysteries of the universe are on the line. The LHC does more than smash particles. It pushes the boundaries of what we know. With every collision, scientists get closer to understanding things like dark matter, the invisible substance that makes up most of the universe, and dark energy, which is believed to be causing the universe to expand. The possibilities feel endless, yet the risks and questions only add to the thrill. So with this supersized machine at work, one question remains. Could the LHC really be powerful enough to shift reality? Could it be that, as Max Laughlin suggests, we're on the edge of discovering worlds beyond our own? But before we get into the scientific debates and theories, let's first understand what scientists have to say. What do the experts think of Max's mind-bending ideas? Are his theories even possible? The science versus speculation. So here's the big question. Could Max Laughlin actually be onto something with all his mind-blowing ideas about CERN? Or is it just wild imagination? It's easy to get wrapped up in his theories. Portals to other dimensions, parallel universes, timelines shifting like pages in a book. But what do real scientists at CERN think about all this? Let's sift through the science and see where it lines up and where things might be too far out. First, let's talk about Max's idea that the Large Hadron Collider could shift us into parallel realities. It sounds like something straight out of a movie, right? The theory goes that CERN's particle-smashing experiments could be messing with the fabric of reality, possibly sending us into a different timeline each time particles collide at near-light speeds. Max even suggests that this could explain things like the Mandela Effect, where people remember events differently, like a glitch in the Matrix. Now, to some, this theory sounds exciting and even a little scary. But for CERN scientists, it's a bit far-fetched. Dr. Rolf Landua, a scientist who has worked with CERN, explains that while the LHC is powerful, it's not that powerful. CERN's experiments can reach energies beyond what we experience daily, but they're still tiny compared to the energy levels that shape the universe. According to him and other experts, the LHC opening portals, or altering our reality, is more science fiction than science fact. But here's where things get tricky. While CERN scientists aren't planning on opening portals to other worlds anytime soon, they study the nature of reality deeply. Concepts like extra dimensions are not totally dismissed in physics. They're part of some very real theories, like string theory. String theory, for instance, suggests that there could be additional dimensions beyond the three we see around us. 
So, although scientists at CERN aren't intentionally seeking parallel universes, the possibility of extra dimensions isn't entirely out of the question. Let's break it down further. Max's ideas revolve around complex physics, but here's a simple way to think of it. Imagine the universe is a flat sheet. Traditional physics says we're on this sheet and that's it. But some advanced theories suggest there could be other sheets stacked above or below ours, other realities or dimensions. The LHC experiments, though incredibly powerful, are more like tossing a pebble on that sheet, causing ripples, but not ripping it open to other layers. In other words, we might be able to nudge reality, but we're not punching holes through it. So where does this leave Max? Well, his theories spark interest and get people thinking, which is always a good thing in science, but scientists at CERN are clear. The LHC was built to help us understand the universe, not to break it apart. They believe Max's ideas might be more imaginative than possible, though that imagination still keeps the spirit of discovery alive. It reminds us that science at its core is about pushing boundaries and asking, what if? And here's the twist. Scientists at CERN are still uncovering mysteries that could one day give us new answers. They're exploring particles and forces we barely understand, like dark matter and dark energy. So while Max's theories might be off target, he's not completely out of the ballpark. Could science one day reveal something just as strange as Max's theories? Could there be discoveries ahead that make even the idea of parallel universes feel real? Let's move on to find out what CERN scientists hope to uncover in their search for answers. The bigger questions. Now that we've seen some of the theories, let's get to the heart of why CERN and the Large Hadron Collider exist. The big questions. The LHC isn't just about smashing particles, it's about unlocking secrets that could reshape our understanding of the universe. It is a kind of cosmic detective tool that can dig up evidence from the earliest moments of creation, when everything we know was compressed into a speck smaller than a grain of sand. This machine isn't out to rewrite reality, but it just might reveal what lies beneath it. So what exactly are scientists hoping to find? At CERN, they're chasing mysteries that have puzzled physicists for decades. Take dark matter, for example. This mysterious stuff makes up about 85% of the universe's mass, yet it doesn't emit light or energy, so we can't see it. We only know it's there because of its gravitational effects. It's like knowing there's wind because you see the trees move. Scientists hope that by recreating high energy conditions similar to the Big Bang, the LHC might reveal particles that could explain dark matter. Just imagine, finding that missing piece of the puzzle could finally show us what's holding galaxies together and it doesn't stop there. Another big question involves dark energy, a force that is even more mysterious than dark matter. If dark matter keeps galaxies from flying apart, dark energy does the opposite. It's believed to drive the universe to expand at an accelerating rate. Yet we know very little about how it works or why it exists. Although CERN's experiments don't directly study dark energy, they are part of a bigger scientific effort to understand the fundamental forces that could lead to answers about this invisible power. Right now, CERN's researchers are running experiments to push the boundaries of particle physics even further. The LHC has already given us the Higgs boson, a monumental discovery because it explained how particles get their mass. But there are still unanswered questions in the standard model of particle physics. This model is a rule book that tells us how particles interact and why. However, it doesn't account for everything like why gravity is so weak compared to other forces, or why particles have the specific masses they do. The LHC attempts to fill in these gaps, searching for particles or forces that could add new chapters to that rulebook. Now, here's where the future gets exciting. CERN plans to upgrade the LHC in the coming years, which means it will reach even higher energies and collect data more precisely. This could lead to discoveries we can't even predict yet. Imagine if they stumbled upon a completely new particle or found evidence of something beyond the standard model. This would be like adding a whole new color to the spectrum of what we know about reality. And while these discoveries are thrilling, they're also deeply humbling. The universe is vast and full of questions that may take generations to answer. Every particle collision and every experiment at the LHC brings us a tiny bit closer to understanding where we come from, what we're made of, and what lies beyond the stars. Science is rarely about instant answers. It's about the journey unfolding through countless questions and a relentless curiosity. Could these experiments one day reveal something stranger than Max Laughlin's ideas? 
Could phenomena be hiding in the universe that not even science fiction has imagined? As we head into the future, one thing is clear. CERN's work is far from over. So as we step into these mysteries, let's take a moment to remember that sometimes the most mind-blowing discoveries start with a single question. And speaking of questions, what might a young mind like Max Laughlin's inspire next in science? Let's wrap things up with some final thoughts on imagination, curiosity, and the power of young thinkers. Impact and imagination. Let's step back and take a moment to think about the bigger picture. How minds like Max Laughlin push us to see science not just as a set of rules, but as an endless realm of what-ifs. Max's ideas may be unconventional, but they spark a kind of curiosity that science thrives on. He shows us that big questions can come from anyone, regardless of age. And in a field as mysterious and complex as physics, it's often the unexpected thinkers, the ones who aren't afraid to ask wild questions, who end up pushing our understanding forward. Young minds like Max's are reminders that curiosity and imagination are as crucial to science as equations and data. Think about it. Every major discovery began with someone daring to question the world around them. Einstein, for instance, started by wondering what it would be like to ride a beam of light, which led him to the theory of relativity. Scientific progress isn't just about finding answers. It's about never stopping the search, always wondering what else might be out there. Max's curiosity, even if it veers into the imagination, is a perfect example of that spirit. But what about the future Max Laughlin's out there? Young people with a passion for physics actually have more opportunities than ever before. Physics isn't just locked away in universities. It's a global community with online courses, research internships, and science programs that invite young thinkers to dive in. CERN itself has programs aimed at students where they can learn from top scientists and even visit the Large Hadron Collider. Imagine being a teenager and stepping into that massive underground ring where particles collide seeing the world of physics up close, not just in textbooks or YouTube videos. And that's what makes this moment in history so exciting. We're at a time where technology and curiosity intersect in ways that allow young people to get involved in groundbreaking research, from virtual reality models of atomic particles to hands-on coding programs. There are more tools than ever for young minds to explore the universe. So the possibilities are endless, whether someone's inspired by Max's theories, CERN's experiments, or even just a love of space in science fiction. Right now, particle physics research is also reaching a thrilling point. With recent discoveries like the Higgs boson, scientists are standing on the edge of new horizons, facing questions that could redefine everything we know about matter, energy, and reality itself. And who knows, maybe one day a young physicist will uncover the true nature of dark matter or find answers to questions we haven't even thought to ask yet. The door to discovery is open wider than ever, and all it takes is a curious mind willing to step through. Science isn't just about having answers. It's about daring to ask big questions. Maybe Max's theories about CERN are a bit out there, but he shows us the power of a curious mind. That drive to explore, to imagine beyond the known, is what fuels science. And who knows, the next great breakthrough might just start with a simple question. So if Max Laughlin's ideas made you wonder about the mysteries of the universe, consider it a call to action. Keep asking questions, keep exploring, and who knows what incredible discoveries you might be part of. Max Laughlin, the smartest kid in the room, has shown us just how powerful imagination can be in the world of science. He's changed the way we think about exploring the universe. But what do you think? Could young minds like his hold the keys to our next big discovery? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, Subscribe and keep exploring with us.